Our learning objective today is to know how volcanoes are formed. Have a think, what do you know about volcanoes? You might know the names of some volcanoes. You might know where some volcanoes are around the world. You might know how volcanoes erupt and why they erupt. What do you already know? Here's a picture of another volcano erupting. We can't see the red lava. We can just see the cloud of ash coming out of the top. It's when the hot lava comes out and hits snow, causes these big clouds. So how are volcanoes formed? I was going to do a really clever bit of technology and show you a video now from the National Geographic Society. Unfortunately, it doesn't work this way. So you'll see in the notes that there is a link to a video. Please stop my video now, watch that, and then you can come back to me in a minute. Hopefully you've watched the video and you will know what I'm showing you now. That volcanoes are formed when molten magma, which is melted rock, rises to the surface of the earth through a vent, all the way up the vent until it gets to the Earth's crust, which is the ground that we live on and walk on. And as the hot lava, magma under the ground, lava above the ground, when the hot lava comes out, it forms the shape of a volcano and becomes a mountain. It solidifies, it becomes solid. Here's a diagram of a volcano. You can see that volcanoes are sometimes formed under the ocean, right under the um, crust of the earth in the mantle is a pool, a lake of magma, which is often called a reservoir, a magma reservoir. And the magma travels from that up the vent until it reaches the crater, the hole at the top of the mountain for the lava to flow out. There's a big cloud at the top and that's where the hot lava has hit the cold air and often snow and ice at the top of a mountain. Here's a task for you to do. Can you draw this diagram of a volcano and label it. I've given you the words that you need to use at the bottom. You'll remember that the magma reservoir is that big pool of magma in the mantle of the earth below the crust. That when the lava flows out of the top, which is the crater, then it can solidify making the layers of the volcano, that at the very top there is that ash cloud. Um, which one haven't I mentioned? I've mentioned the crater at the very top, the conduit, where it changes from magma into lava. When you've done that diagram and labelled it, I'd like you to use your colours to colour the magma and lava in hot colours red and orange, and then the layers of ash and the solidified lava and the ash cloud can be gray and black and brown, representing the volcano itself. When it's colored underneath, see if you can write a sentence or two, not lots, just a sentence or two, on how a volcano is formed. I'd love to see what you've written. In class, we're going to try and make a model of this volcano, a specific one in Iceland. It's pronounced something like Eyjafjalla Jökull, but I'm just using my phonics, I'm not sure. 
There's a link here and you can watch the video yourself. And it shows the eruption as it occurs. Our models at school will look like this. There's the volcano with its layers of solidified lava. There's the ash cloud along the top. And deep inside, you can see it going right into the mantle of the earth. And that's an actual volcano in Iceland. I'm wondering if you at home can make a model of a volcano. They don't have to be quite as complicated as that one. Here's one that we've made already. All it uses is a base of thin card. Maybe you could use the back of a cereal box. Inside, there's a plastic cup in there, the white bit. And then we've built up the sides, the, mulch, the lava that has solidified with brown packaging paper, maybe you could use newspaper and colour it in or even paint it, a bit of grass just to show that it's a natural feature. And then if you really want to do something exciting, inside the cup, if you put a couple of drops of red or orange food colouring, about a centimetre of vinegar from the kitchen and a teaspoonful of bicarbonate of soda, you will see your very own mountain eruption as it comes over the top and bubbles over the top. And it will be a bit like having a layer of lava coming over the top of your mountain and making it look like a real volcano. If you do it at home, I'd love to see a video of it or some photos. See if you can share them via our email.